Hey everyone, welcome back to the homestead. Welcome back inside of our home. Today we've got a really cool project for you. It's a gray water reclamation system. Stay with us and see how it's all put together. So there are three main parts to a great gray water system. And in my opinion, all of those need to be in place to have a well-functioning gray water system. That first part is the diversion assembly. And that's what we've got here. We're going to go over this in a minute. And that takes the water from inside your house and takes it to the second stage, which is the initial filtration uh, system. From there, you're going to take it into your irrigation and rain gardens. Now we're going to show you all that, but let's get started by showing you this first piece and one of the most crucial, the diversion assembly. So everybody's home is set up a little bit differently. The basic layout of this is always going to stay the same, but you're going to need to cut your pieces of PVC to fit your home like we did underneath our cabinets here. Here are all the tools that you're going to need for the job. You're going to need a hole saw because we're going to be going through the outside wall. So a, uh, a drill with a hole saw. We're going to need another uh, impact driver here. We've got a pair of channel locks, screwdriver, some silicone sealant, some exterior silicone sealant, uh, some screws, pipe dope, which is really important, as well as our uh, red hot blue glue, which we love, measuring implements, you know, all that kind of stuff. We've got our PVC pieces, and we're going to go over those in a minute. We need a hacksaw. We need a, some sandpaper to take care of uh, the burrs on our cut pieces of PVC pipe. And this is an exterior pipe boot. We can, you can find these um, on Amazon, and we'll have a link to these down in the uh, description below. This is a, uh, we like this one a little bit better. They, they do have flush, ones that are flush to the wall. We like this one because it'll drain the water off a little bit easier. And we'll show you how to do that in the other part of the video. So here it is. This is what we're calling our diversion assembly. This assembly is basically three different parts. We've got our drain to our original in-wall drain where the uh, washing hose usually goes. And that washer hose is going to come up and now connect to the bottom of our three-way valve here, which is going to either divert the water out to your uh, gray water system or back to its original place, which is through the wall and out to your septic and or sewer. And then after that, we've got our air admittance valve, which is a safeguard so that we don't get a siphon and bringing water back from the outside back into the washing machine. So make sure that you have them in this order. Once you get the threaded portions connected and sealed with your uh, pipe sealant or pipe dope, make sure you use your glue and get everything snug, tight, and sealed up at all of the connections. Now that we have everything assembled right here, before we take everything outside, I want to go over one really important point, and that is the height of which you need to connect your uh, drainage hose from your washing machine. Now, washing machine pumps are extremely weak. They cannot pump water very far at all, and if you make them pump water too high or too far, that they're going to wear out really, really quickly. So, make sure you don't go more than above, uh, more than about a foot above your washing machine, or else you're going to wear out that pump pretty quickly. Now, let's drill that hole in the wall. Okay, now comes the next part of the process. As soon as we have the pipe coming out of the exterior wall of our home, we're going to need to seal that up somehow. And the best way to do that is with this pipe boot. This one happens to come out, and I explained that earlier. We do like the flat ones as well, but this one lets the water shed off. Uh, we're going to put that in the description below. And don't worry, I know there are a lot of parts here and a lot of tools. We're going to make a list of everything you're going to need for this entire project. Let's get this on here, and it's got this nice aluminum ring on it, and these, uh, these ribs to seal it against the house. We're also going to put a nice bead of silicone 
around that just so everything is completely uh, sealed up. Now that we have the first stage done, which is our diversion assembly, we can now concentrate on the second part, which is the filtration system. And this is the initial part of the filtration system, the one that catches the most of the garbage coming out of your house, and we'll show you exactly how that's done here. Here's our one inch line coming out of the house right here, and here is our tote. Our tote was assembled with a shower drain or a two inch shower drain right in the center in the bottom. Uh, from there, we neck down to a one and a half inch pipe, drain pipe, which runs out the rest of the way to our rain garden. Over the top of the drain, we have this half inch rabbit wire cage, and that's to prevent a lot of uh, debris from coming in and clogging up that drain, because surrounding that drain, we have some wood chips. And on top of this initial layer of wood chips, we're gonna put a screen and we are gonna add wood chips all the way up to the top. From there, we're gonna place in a whole bunch of worms. This is a, a vermicompost. And what that's gonna do is help break down any of that garbage that is coming in here from either our kitchen sink or you know whatever it is that makes it through our washing machine and our showers. They're gonna help to break down and filter this, uh, the water as it comes through here. This is the first stage of the process. We made just a simple stand to hold this tote in place. This is made from uh, treated wood, and this is how we did it right here. From there, like I said, I just necked down from the two inch shower drain, uh, which is the smallest I could find, to a one and a half inch drain line that goes out to the third stage of our uh, water reclamation system, and that is the rain garden. Let's go take a look at that. We have three reservoirs that we have designed into this system. Here's the first one, and what we did was we cut a 55 gallon uh, plastic drum in half, And we added these bulkhead connectors here. And you can find those connectors sometimes at your uh, tractor supply store. They're usually used for livestock uh, watering tanks. Unfortunately, there's so much livestock here in this part of Texas, our tractor supply stores are always out. So I had to order these on Amazon. And if you're anywhere else, you're probably gonna need to do that. So check the link and uh, we'll have that link down below for you like I said, with the rest of the hard to find items for this project. Let's take a look at what we've got inside here that makes this such a great system and filters the water so well. So in our first barrel here, we have the discharge from our initial uh, tote that filters the water and it comes into here for a second stage of filtration. Now the tote is divided into two parts here. On the bottom we have a very large aggregate this you see here is the second layer of aggregate, which is a little bit smaller. So from the bottom to the top, we want to come up uh, in size, from largest to smallest, all the way up at the top. You can see that in our second uh, container here. We've got some very large aggregate on the bottom, and we've left off that other stuff to show you how that works. Now the baffles work to hold the water back from really just slamming through the entire system. What the baffle does is force the water down and underneath, and that helps infiltration. So you can see this baffle just sits on top of our large aggregate on the bottom, and it really doesn't need to be held in place on the sides as the smaller aggregate will hold it up from moving around too much as you come up towards uh, the top. So, our inlet or our outlet valve or our bulkhead here is always lower than your inlet valve. As you can see on the first one right here, we've got our inlet valve at the top. <coughs> our outlet is halfway down. So that gives the reservoir 
the ability to hold some water for the plants that we will be planting in here. So same thing here. We've got the inlet up at the top and the outlet halfway down. Now you need to know what the slope of your property is because you need to slope this out so that the water continuously moves. You can see our third reservoir here. We've left almost everything out of it to show you. We've got it diverted just over the top of the edge into this pool. Now the pool is big enough we don't have to worry about the flow and we don't have to put any baffles in it to slow the water down. It's going to uh, trickle and matric matriculate the water down to the bottom with no problem and out you can see our outlet valve here. This valve or outlet bulkhead, sorry, runs out to our pipe and out into our dry creek. At this stage, with this completely full of aggregate up to the top and these other two in the initial filtration system, that is going to be plenty of filtration for whatever we throw through the system. We put some large aggregate, uh, some large pieces near the opening of the mouth of the lower bulkhead so that it was uh, not impeded by any of the uh, smaller aggregate and it didn't clog up the tube or the, the pipe going to the next reservoir. Well there you have it. Those are the three parts that are really important in a gray water system. Those two stages after your initial diversion system, the filtration systems, that rain garden filtration, are incredibly important. So make sure that all these steps are included in your gray water reclamation system. We hope that we answered all your questions throughout the video. If we didn't, please leave us a comment in the comment section below and we will answer those for you. Also, like I said, we'll have everything that we use and all the links to every part in the description below. So make sure you look out for that. We thank you for being here. We want you to have a great day and we want to see you on the next video and we want you here on a permanent basis of course. So hit that subscribe button. If the, you like the video, like it. Share it with your friends if it's going to help them out too. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.